This is the range country, where the pounding hooves of untamed horses still thunder over mountains, meadows, and canyons. Every herd has its own leader, but there is only one fury. Fury, king of the wild stallions. And here in the wild west of today, hard-riding men still battle the open range for a living. Men like Jim Newton, owner of the Broken Wheel Ranch, and Pete, his top hand, who says he cut his teeth on a branding iron. Wild as Fury is, that's the one human voice he's learned to love and obey. The voice of the boy who once saved his life, Jim Newton's boy, Joey. a mutual trust and affection that everyone can understand. Especially a woman like Helen Watkins, Joey's school teacher and unfailing champion. Kneel down, let me get on you. And there they are together, a great wild horse and the only person on earth who can ride him, Joey and Fury. fell in on me. She's a hoodoo, that's what she is. Just one accident after another. I, oh, oh, my leg. She feels like she's busted. Well, let's have a look at it, man. We, we shouldn't have set off that blast. The walls just couldn't take it. We're lucky to be alive. Golly, the whole place caved in. Well, not quite, son, but it might as well have. Hank, you're finished for sure this time. I told you there was any tungsten that mine to begin with, but you wouldn't listen to me. Well, then shut it down, board up the entrance. The tungsten queens and jeeps. I never want to see it again. Now, well, take it easy, Hank. You should have taken it easy after that first accident we had a couple of months ago. At least you have a few dollars left. You know, it got so every time we turned around in that mine, something had happened. Now, let's not worry about that now. Hank, your leg's broken, all right. We'll get you down to the ranch and call the doctor. I'll use the pickup. We'll come down for it after we boarded up this shaft. All right. Get a plank to carry Hank on. Put some blankets in the pickup, will you? About your back pain, Naylor. I'll see if the bank... You just take care of yourself, Hank. Get back on your feet. to you, Naylor. You timed that blast just right to get rid of Hank Enos once and for all. Yeah, but I was a little heavy on that blasting powder. Almost got both of us. Well, it didn't. And the firm of Naylor and Millard got themselves a mountain full of high-grade tungsten ore. And that one blast shook enough ore loose to make us both rich. Well, let's, let's board up that entrance. Then we'll get that truckload of equipment and move it in tonight. Board up the entrance. How do we get the equipment in? An old abandoned tunnel on the other side of the hill. Big enough to hide the truck and everything. Man, you think of everything. But what happens if Hank Enos catches us working his claim? Well, he won't. The time he's able to walk will be a long ways away with a fortune in pure tungsten. <laughs> uh, you can't move backwards. You gotta go forward. Shucks, I beat myself again. 
You'd think after two months, I'd get on to this confounded game. Jim! Jim! What is it, Pete? It's them horses we moved in from the range this morning. They're acting mighty peculiar. Look at them. And that mare we put in the barn is the same way, only worse. Get Doc Taylor on the phone and ask him to come out as soon as he can, will you? No. Beats me. Half your stock's sick in a way I've never seen before. Is something contagious, Doc? No, it seems more like poisoning. Maybe it's local weed. I don't think so. What have you been feeding them? Nothing as yet. We just brought them in this morning. Well, what about the water? Let's see, they were grazing by the stream up in the north pasture. They probably drank out of that. Did ever have any trouble with that water before? No, it's a little muddy during the rainy season, but otherwise it's mountain spring water. Well, I better get some samples of it and have it analyzed. Mm -hmm. How long will it be before you know? Oh, about a week. I have to send it to a lab in the city, Jim. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you keep your stock away from that stream. Make sure of that, Pete. You betcha. I'll ride up there with you. I told you to be careful with that acid. I'm sorry. Those fumes have got me down. Just look at that bat support. If this vat toppled over and the acid hit the beam supports, the whole roof would cave in us in no time. Now flush this off with some water and try to be a little more careful. <laughs> Haven't we got enough of that tungsten yet? How many sacks we got ready to go? We have 196, and four more will be able to split an even $50,000. 50000 That's right. And there's more where that came from. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's get back to work. Trap myself for sure. <laughs> dang, dang it, I'm cornered anyway. Howdy, Doc. Hi, Hank. Well, I see you got the cast off. How does it feel? Oh, might stiff, but it'll soon be as good as new. <laughs> That's fine. Is Jim around? No, nope. him and Pete's up the North Pasture. Oh, and I got the results back from the lab. Oh, yeah? What'd they say? There's enough lime chloride in that stream to make every animal on the range sick. Hmm. Lime chloride, you say? And all the rest of the water around here is pure as a lily. What do you know about that? Lime chloride? Where in tarnation you reckon a thing like that would be coming from? There ain't nobody processing tungsten ore around here that I know of. Well, what do you mean? Well, when you break down tungsten ore, you wash it in acid. And the runoff is lime chloride. Is that what you were doing up the tungsten queen? <laughs> Never struck a vein rich enough to process. <laughs> How about Jim's horses? Oh, they'll be up and about in a day or two. 
Gonna be all right, though, huh? Yeah, now that I know what's wrong, I can fix him up. Well, Jim will be glad to hear that. I'd better ride out and tell him. So long, Hank. So long, Doc. Lime chloride. There ain't no place for it to come from around here, except in Queen. That ain't possible. Huh? Beats me. I better have a look up there. something going on in there. environment. You know there was tungsten in this old tunnel all the time. Why, I ought to... You got us all wrong, Hank. We're just working this mine for you. We want it to be sort of a, well, sort of a surprise. Ha! You expect me to believe that? Oh, come well, on, Take sir. it easy, Hank. Take a look down that tunnel. You'll see a whole truckload of pure tungsten. We were just going to drive over the ranch and show it to you. A, a truckload? That's right. Well, that is the important. That's right, Hank. It'd make a fortune. But not for you. You dumb, dirty, dirty bums! Wait a minute. Slide that trough through to me.
go on with that stuff to eat through a couple of beans, and the whole place will cave in. It looks just like another accident. You know, Hank, you're right about this mine. It is a jinx. For you. <laughs> For. We're going to play it safe and wait here for the cave-in. sound like a big cave in to me. Big enough for Hank Enos. <laughs> he comes out of there alive, you know what happens to us. All right, all right. So what do you want me to do about it? Wait here till those acid fumes settle. Then go back in there and make sure. All right. Strenus! Strenus! Come on, 
Fury? Well, I want to be safe enough to go in there now. about that lime chloride than he let on. He's gone up to the mine to take a look. Well, don't you reckon we better go up there and take a look, see ourselves? I sure do. so we can get out of here. This old tunnel's going to cave in any minute. Push him back, Fury, so we can get out! and Queens turned out to be a bonanza, I guess you'll just sit back and take it easy, huh? <laughs> You're darn tootin', Jim. But first, I gotta figure a way to show my appreciation to Joey and Fury. Cause if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here. Oh, we don't want anything, Mr. Enos. Do we, Fury? <laughs> 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 well, just the same. When I sell this load of tungsten, there's gonna be a nice little nest egg riding in the bank until it's time for you to go to college. She. Oh, Hank, you don't have to do anything like that. Don't you try to tell me how to spend my money, Jim Newton. What's the good of money anyways if you can't help your friends? Ha! Shucks, money ain't no expense. <laughs> <laughs> 